In this video, we're going to look at the resources you need to pass the AWS Solutions Architect Certification in 2021 and how you can use them effectively to pass the certification on your first try. Hey, my name is Victor Caballero and I want to help you choose the right resources to pass the AWS Solutions Architect Certification on your first try. If you're new here, make sure you click on that subscribe button and all the links to everything we will mention in this video you can find down below in the description box. So let's jump into it. The AWS Solutions Architect certification is one of the most popular, in-demand, and respected cloud certifications. Using the resources and the practice test methods that I will go over in this video, I can pretty much guarantee that you'll pass your test on your first try. So right now, we're going to take a look at my top three resources that I used to pass my AWS Solutions Architect certification in under two months with no experience. And make sure you stick around till the end because I'll share with you three free resources that will increase your chances of passing the exam. Okay, so starting off with the very first resource. The Ultimate AWS Certified Solutions Architect Associate 2021. It's a mouthful, yes, but it is going to be one of the best resources that you're going to see throughout this video. Why? Because Stefan Merrick does a very good job of going right to the exam um, objectives and passing um, helping you pass uh, the exam. He details everything and outlines it step by step. He kind of explains everything that you pretty much need to know to pass the exam. Um, if, if you go through Reddit or LinkedIn, you're going to see that he's pretty much a highly recommended resource for the course. If you've been on Udemy long enough, you also know that they always have sales. So just because something that says it's Just because something sell, says that it is $100, $200, that doesn't necessarily mean that you have to pay that much. So let's let's see let's see if they have a let's check if they've got a, a sale going on right now. Right now they have a $12.99 as of this video. Again, those prices fluctuate. Sometimes you can get it for $10, $11, $12. I know Black Friday, it's usually $9.99. Um, I bought mine for about 10 or 11 bucks. I can't remember, but don't ever pay full price. Always look for a discount. And if they're not running a discount, try to wait a week at least. They'll, they'll, they'll have something in, in as far as the discount goes. Now moving on to the second uh, resource. That would be the AWS Certified Solutions Architect Associate Practice Exams by Neil Davis. Neil Davis does a great job of getting right to the exam objectives for these practice exam questions. He does a really good job of just breaking it down and explaining uh, why the correct answer is the correct answer. Um, I would definitely pick these up because I feel like they'll definitely help you pass the exam. Moving on to the third resource, and that is the AWS Certified Solutions Architect Associate Practice Exams by John Bonzo. Now, if you've been looking at this certification or just the course materials for the certification, you have had to at least seen his name pop up once or twice. Trust me when I tell you this, he is the number one practice exam guy out there. Um, I've gone into all the Reddit groups and all the LinkedIn groups and looked and looked and he always popped up and I always wondered why. Uh, it was until I took his practice exams that I was like, oh my God, this guy knows exactly what he's doing. If you need to buy any of the practice exams, please buy this one. You'll thank me once, once you take the exam and pass it, you'll pretty much look back at John Bonzo's exams and be like, oh my God. Without his, I probably wouldn't have passed. And it's not that it's a dump because it isn't. It really isn't. And I highly, highly recommend you don't ever do a dump because you will you will regret it, regret it. even if nobody finds out. You'll regret it. Trust me. Um, but his exams are the best, top notch. Uh, if you go to any Reddit group, again, they'll recommend it. And it's just his practice exam style questions are very well aligned with the exam objectives and the structure of the exam questions. Um, so 
he goes really after the style that AWS likes to, to do, where they kind of narrow it down to two questions, uh, to two answers, I mean, where either one of them could be right, but there's one more right than the other. Um, he really helps you kind of get used to that style and he does a great job. Now his exam questions, some of them are actually harder than the AWS uh, exam certification. And I, I actually think that's a good thing because if you're practicing things that are harder than the actual thing, you'll be more well prepared. So again, if you're gonna get to listen to any of the resources that I just described in this video, he, you just get his, trust me, you will thank me after you buy them and pass the exam. Now, as promised, the first resource I wanna share with you is a practice exam tracker. Now, I know you're gonna say, Victor, why do I need this? This kinda sounds lame and I totally understand where you're coming from because I thought the exact same thing. That was until I started using one myself. It helped me gauge my improvements by being able to compare my results and it helps establish a, a trend because uh, it tells you where if you did well on one practice exam and you fail another it will let you understand that there are still things you need to understand better and before you decide to schedule the exam so um i'll share this again in the link in the description down below so moving on to the second resource the anki web app now, if you don't know what Anki Web App is, it's um, basically a free flashcard program that uses spaced repetition to help you memorize anything much faster. It's totally free unless you wanna get the iOS version. Uh, the web and desktop version are amazing and good enough for me. That's the one I actually use. This is it. Um, as you can see, I already have a lot of flashcards in here, but this is the one I use. There are other ones that you'd like, you can go out there and explore and find, but this is the one. And I've heard other YouTube uh, creators talk about it and this is just, it does everything that you need it to. Now, this leads me to my third and last resource. I can't show it to you. Well, I can, let me, let me go ahead and do it. I actually went and created a bunch of course uh, flashcards when I was taking the, the course and going through the practice exam. I wanna share them with you for free. Yes, you heard that right. I wanna help you by offering you these free flashcards at no cost to you and no requirements. I don't need you to sign up for my email list. I don't need you to send me a message or $10 or anything. I really think these flashcards will make a huge difference in you passing your exam and I really just wanna help you. And I'm gonna put them in the description down below. Of course, you'll have to import them and there should be some YouTube tutorial that you can look up to, to import them into your um, deck. But I'm gonna put them down below. I hope they help. Now, if you've already decided that you wanna take the AWS Solutions Architect exam, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and sign up for these resources and start studying today. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe because this helps me with a YouTube algorithm. Lastly, please leave a comment and what kind of videos you would like to see in the future. This helps me create better content that's tailored to you, my viewers, because I wanna build a community uh, and deliver the most value by helping you advance your IT careers. Thank you so much and I'll see you soon.